Hi, I'm Patrick Murphy, and this is the All Systems Go warm-up. This warm-up is great, and you can do it anywhere, and it will also prepare you for any type of workout. This is Dee. She's going to help me out, and the only two tools needed are a medicine ball and a rubber band. We're going to start with leg swings, and we do 10 repetitions on each side. Keeping those abs in. Always focus on one spot if you're balancing on one leg. Now, if you're having trouble with these leg swings, you can also touch down each repetition. Very good. Keeping those abs activated. Squeeze those glutes on the bottom. Keep those abs and keep those shoulders back. Okay, we're gonna go to the second number two exercise. We're gonna do arm swings with an elevated foot. Freely let those arms go right through. Try to get full range of motion of your shoulders. We're gonna go 10 repetitions backwards. Then we're gonna alternate the foot and go 10 repetitions forward. Keeping those abs in, balancing on one foot. Very good. Now we're gonna do the step forward pushbacks with a reverse fly with the rubber band. This is a great warm up exercise. Push back, reverse fly. Alternating your legs for 10 to 20 repetitions would be great. We're gonna do 10. Keep those abs in. Focus on that reverse fly for all those postural muscles. You could focus on that push back to open up those hips, keeping straight lines. Great, moving forward. Now we're gonna do the single leg deadlift with the knee up press using the medicine ball. Okay, we're gonna stand on one leg. We're gonna come down. We're gonna reach up and do a knee up and a press, keeping those abs in. Very good, now this is a pretty difficult exercise. So if you need to step down each time, there's no problem. Know what your limits are. Keeping those abs in. We're gonna do 10 repetitions on each side. Very good, reach up nice and high. Very good. Coming down with that medicine ball, you're gonna be focusing on your hip. And then you're gonna reach up nice and high, focus on those shoulders. Very good job, and keep breathing. Excellent, let's go to the other side for 10 more. Focus on your hip. Reach up nice and high, keep those abs in. This is definitely a full body warm up exercise. That's okay, you gotta take your time, focus on one point. Very good. Knee up, press, keeping those abs in. You're gonna feel this warm up exercise everywhere. So just really focus on execution. Very good, keep breathing. All right, now we're gonna do the lateral jump balance exercise for 10 repetitions. Dee's gonna jump laterally, balance, hold, and repeat. Keeping those abs in. If you're having trouble balancing on that one leg, you can also touch down each repetition. If you wanna touch down, there's no problem. This is really good for the inner outer thighs, really gonna open up those hips. Very good. All right, next exercise, we're gonna do the reverse lunge knee ups. We're gonna keep those abs in, hands on your waist, shoulders back, and knee up. Reverse lunge knee up. Let's keep straight lines with that forward knee. That forward knee should be aligned with that second and third toe, keeping those abs in, keep those shoulder blades back, and add that knee up. Again, if you need to touch down in between each repetition, that's no problem. You can avoid the knee up and just touch down forward here. Let's go to the other side for 10 more. Focus on, on your hip here. Come up and then do the knee up. Keep those shoulder blades back and keep those abs drawn in toward your spine. Very good. Keep breathing, keep the shoulders back. Very good. Now the last exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna do some kick buns, they're called. Standing right here, you're gonna alternate your legs, you're gonna kick your buns, it's a quick twitch, get, get those hamstrings going. 
You're gonna alternate for 10 repetitions. All right, you're warmed up. If you did this, you are definitely warmed up. Hi, I'm Patrick Murphy with Exercise TV, and I'm here to show you how to get gold medal glutes and legs. You follow this program, you're gonna be showtime in no time. The tools needed are a balance ball, a light medicine ball, and one dumbbell, and a rubber band. Dee's here to help, so let's get started. We're gonna start with a balance lunge. We're gonna do 10 repetitions on each side. We're gonna elevate that forward foot and be on the heel, and we're gonna be on the toe on the back foot. Keep those abs in. Let's keep those shoulders back. Very good. This is pretty hard to balance, so if you have a hard time, you can definitely put that forward foot down on some of these repetitions. Let's go to the other side for 10 more. Very good, here we go. Straight up and down on the balance lunges. Really focus on those hip muscles. Keep those abs in and shoulders back. Very good, keep nice straight lines with those knees. Okay, now we're gonna do a reverse lunge. We're gonna step straight back and we're gonna ask a, uh, add a nice quick leg kick with it. So we're gonna go reverse lunge Reach up, leg kick. Reverse lunge, we're gonna do 10 repetitions. Leg kick, good. Keep those abs in, keep balance. If you don't have the mobility or the flexibility, you don't have to go all the way down and touch the ground, that is fine. Reach up nice and high, focus on the glute on that reverse lunge, reach up nice and high on that leg kick. Good, keep those abs in. Good, let's go to the other side for 10 more. Reverse, reach up. Reverse, good. Focus on that glute, reach up nice and high and stretch out that hamstring. Very good, keep nice alignment, keep those shoulders back and abs in. Very good, keep nice straight lines, keep breathing. Good, excellent job. Now we're gonna do some lateral leg kicks with the, with the balance ball. You're gonna set that ball to the side. You're gonna elevate your leg and we're gonna do leg kicks. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Keep those abs in. This is gonna really wake up those hip muscles. Good, let's go to the other side. Okay, here we go. Keep those abs in. Right here, really focus on that outer hip muscle. For 10 more, here we go. All right, the next exercise, we're gonna do the imaginary jump rope set. Here we go. So we don't need a jump rope, and we're gonna do a combination, about 50 jumps would be great. You're gonna alternate your feet, right? You go side to side with the feet. You can do circles with your body. You come back the other way. You can jump on one leg for five to 10 reps. That's not easy, keep breathing. And go to the other side. And you can do regular jumps and you can just keep going. That's a great exercise. Moving forward, we're gonna do side to side lateral lunges with the medicine ball. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a lateral step lunge, keeping that left leg straight. Come up, go to the left. We're gonna do 10 repetitions. To the right, really focus on the adductors, your growing muscles. You can focus on your glutes, on that pushback, keeping those abs in. You know, I tell all my clients to stay away from those high sugar energy drinks. And that's why I recommend Powerade Zero. There's no calories, no sugar. It's great for replenishing your body with electrolytes. You should definitely try it, it tastes great. All right, the next exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna go with Balance ball hamstring curls. Okay, we're gonna put the feet right on top of the ball. We're gonna lay back, we're gonna flex those toes towards your shins, we're gonna make a bridge, and we're gonna do a hamstring curl. All that focus on those hamstrings. Keep those abs in. We're gonna do 10 repetitions. This is a great, great core exercise. Great movement on the hamstrings. Keep those abs in. Those of you, if you're, if you're doing this really easily, you can always take away those forearms and elevate your hands and be on your elbows and make it that much harder. The next exercise we're gonna do, 
We're gonna do 10 repetitions of straight body raises. Here we go, go down halfway and come right back up. Let's keep those toes flexed towards your shins. We always wanna strengthen those shin muscles. Good, keep those abs in. Squeeze those glutes on top on every repetition, especially when you're training those legs. Good, keep those abs in, keep nice straight lines. Excellent. The next exercise we're gonna do are pelvic raises. You're gonna put the bottom of the feet on the ball. We're gonna do 10 repetitions. We're gonna come up nice and high, come down halfway and repeat. This is great for the glutes and the hamstrings. Very good. Nice and high, get up nice and high. Good squeeze of the glutes, excellent. Very good. Again, these are tough, so if you, if you can't go too high, you can always do these from the ground if you wanna get rid of the balance ball too. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a one-legged squat with the dumbbell. And again, you can do these with a heavier weight. I prefer the lighter weight for stabilization. Dee's gonna take her time and do a one-legged squat and bring that weight in front of her knee, come straight up. Very good. All your focus is on the glute muscle. Good, keep those abs in, stand all the way up and complete the rep. We're gonna do 10 repetitions on each side. Very good. On that forward leg, the planted leg, you wanna keep that knee right in front of that second and third toe. If you find your knees going inside or outside, you're going too low. So you wanna lessen the range of motion to do it correctly. Very good. All that focus on that hip muscle. Very good. Let's keep those abs in. Excellent. Very good. Keep breathing. Keep those abs in. This is really going to wake you up. Good job. All right, moving forward. Now, one of my clients is Eva Longoria. Yes, Eva Longoria. And her favorite exercise I'm gonna show you right now. And they are lateral steps with the rubber band. This is really gonna wake up those glutes, inner outer thighs. Dee's gonna keep those abs in. She's gonna do a nice lateral step, keeping the feet straight ahead, touch in the middle, and repeat. Do 10 repetitions, keep those abs in. All your focus, I like to focus on the outside. It really wakes up those outside hips. Side to side, keep those shoulders back a little bit. Excellent. Keep those abs in. Wonderful, moving on. Now we're gonna do a power exercise that follows that one. It's gonna be ice skaters. He's gonna get on that mat. We're gonna jump lateral, and we're gonna come right back to the other side. Ice skaters. So this is a power move of the same exercise you just finished. We're gonna do 10 repetitions. Awesome. Now we're gonna do the single leg deadlift with the medicine ball. Okay, we're gonna stand on one leg. We're gonna keep that leg straight with a slight bend in the knee. We're gonna reach down and we're just gonna come up to there. Perfect. Nice deadlift, great for the lower back, but we're also really training the glutes. Squeeze the glutes on top and the hamstrings. Again, great for stabilization. Good, keep those abs in. 10 repetitions on each side. Very good. Those of you having trouble with this one, you can touch down every time you do each repetition. It's fine. There you go. Let's go to the other side for 10 more. Good. Keep those abs in. Really focus. Squeeze the glutes on top on each repetition. Good. Keep those abs in. Excellent. Take your time. Take your time. No rush. Always take your time on balance exercises. Very good. Okay, let's put that away. Now we're really gonna turn it up and we're gonna do some sky jumps. Dee's gonna keep nice straight lines. We're gonna get in a squat position and you're gonna power it up and reach for the sky. You're gonna take your time on the down as soon as you land. You're gonna power up for 10 repetitions. Keep straight lines of the knees. The knees should be always over that second and third toe. Keep those abs in and reach up, power it up. Keep breathing, these are gonna raise that heart rate. It's a high calorie burner. Good, now the next exercise and the last one is gonna be jump lunges with rotations with the medicine ball. This is a great core exercise and it really, really sculpts those legs. 
Here we go. We're gonna get in a lunge position. And we're gonna rotate over the forward leg. Dee's gonna jump straight up in the air for 10 repetitions. And we're gonna alternate, keeping straight lines. Definitely keep breathing. These are hard. You don't have to jump that high or you can just switch your legs really quick, okay? All right, good job. This is gold medal glutes and legs. If you follow this program, I promise you, you're gonna get awesome results. So rock it and get it done. Hi, I'm Patrick Murphy with Exercise TV, and I'm gonna show you the proper way to cool down and stretch after intense workout. Now, you only need a balance ball, and Dee's here to help me. Here we go, let's get started. We're gonna do the hip flexor stretch. We're gonna make a right angle with the legs, keep that foot underneath, Reach up with the opposite arm. Okay, let's move forward and take your spine with a lateral flexion here. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes. It's really gonna open up that hip flexor. That's what's gonna happen here if you activate the glutes. We wanna hold all these stretches for 30 seconds on each side. Very good, keep those abs drawn in. Very good, let's see the other side. Bring that other leg forward, keep the other, keep the foot underneath your knee. Okay, come forward, reach up, tilt your spine, activate your glutes, and feel that stretch. Remember stretching, as soon as you feel tension, you're doing enough. Don't try to do more and more. So if you feel tension, you feel those muscle fibers sliding, just let it slide. Very good. The next stretch. We're gonna do the psoas stretch, it's a back stabilizer. You're gonna internally rotate your back foot, you're gonna step forward. You're again, you're gonna reach up, you're gonna keep those abs in, you're gonna flex your spine laterally here, squeeze your glutes, you're gonna feel a really good pull in that low mid back. Again, holding these stretches for 30 seconds each. Keep those abs in. Very good, reach up nice and high. Wonderful. Reactivate those glutes if they start to relax. Okay, you're gonna internally rotate that back foot. Reach up, reach up that left arm, flex your spine laterally towards me, squeeze that glute, and you'll really start feeling that. Keep in mind, it's also very important to stay hydrated, and even after workout, to replenish your electrolytes and lost fluids and B vitamins. And that's why I use Powerade Zero. It's got zero calories, it's got great taste. You should definitely give it a try. All right, let's move on to the next stretch. We're gonna do the secretary stretch. That's gonna be in the seated position. We're gonna take the right leg and we're gonna put the left one over. We're gonna rotate our torso. Very good, you're gonna do a slight push with your arm. You're gonna rotate this way. It's great for the lower back. It's also gonna stretch your glutes on the left side here. Keep those abs drawn in and focus on a slight push. Excellent. Very good, we wanna hold this stretch for about 30 seconds. Keep those abs in. Really put your mind on with the muscle groups you're stretching. For this one, you can focus on the lower back or you can focus on the glutes. Let's see the other side, 30 seconds. Here we go, hold that. Let's rotate towards me. Very good, rotate, keep those abs in. You can focus on that stretch right here on that glute, or you can also focus on the lower back. Very good job. You wanna breathe nice and relaxed when you're stretching, take your time. Good, keep those abs in, excellent. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna do the biceps femur stretch, part of your hamstrings. These gonna lay down on the mat, let's lay this way. Very good, lay right down. We're gonna drop one foot, we're gonna pick one up. We're gonna internally rotate this leg and we're gonna grab this tendon right below your knee. We're gonna keep a right angle with the leg. Dee's gonna take this stretch, hold it for two or four seconds and then relax it. It's an active stretch. We're gonna do 10 repetitions on each side. Get a good squeeze. We wanna squeeze that quadricep, extend that leg, squeeze that quad and you're gonna feel all this tension release right where our hand is, right in here. Very good job. Let's keep those abs activated. Very good. Good squeeze, keep that toe towards your shin. Wonderful. Nice and relaxed breathing when you're stretching. You really take your time. Let's see the other side, right angle here. Let's grab that tendon, full extension. Good squeeze. 
Excellent. Squeeze. Contract these opposite muscle groups. That's how it's going to really release the muscle you're, you're stretching. Very good. Good squeeze here. Excellent. Keep those abs in. Okay, let's get three more. One more, good squeeze. All right, moving on. Let's do the lat stretch with the balance ball. This is another active stretch. You're gonna hold for two to four seconds for 10 repetitions. Dee's gonna hold onto the ball. She's gonna keep her back nice and flat. Her abs are gonna be in and she's gonna rotate her torso and she's gonna feel a pull here. And hold it for two to four seconds and let's go to the other side. Really good, let's keep those abs drawn in. Feel that stretch, you'll definitely feel that tension right away, right in the latissimus dorsi. Get a good stretch, excellent. Good, keep those abs in, and really focus on the muscle group you're stretching. Okay, let's get three more. Good, keep those abs in, excellent. Very good, one more, here we go. All right, moving on. Let's do the flop, the last stretch of the day. Dee's gonna get on top of that ball and she's gonna take her body and she's just gonna flop. Open your body up. For some of you that have a little balance, keep the feet far apart. You're gonna feel the stretch all along your hip flexors. It's gonna be great to stretch out your core and your abdominis rectus. It's great for your lats, it stretches everything. And this is where you really re relax and zone out and reward yourself. You just did a great workout. You want to hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds. You want to breathe nice, nice and easy. Very good job. All right, remember to always take your time on the cool down. This is going to allow recovery and it's going to give you a chance to work out again soon. I'm Patrick Murphy with Exercise TV. See you soon.